When you start riding more difficult tracks, you'll usually find a jump that you look at and say, that's impossible. In my experience, it's just that you don't know the correct technique to use yet. One of the most common examples is the subject of the next lesson, flat obstacles. This technique focuses on passing an obstacle from a flat surface. This is more difficult as there is no ramp to assist you, so you'll need to use a different approach. When the obstacles are round, performing a bunny hop and leaning forward is often enough for the smaller jumps, but that doesn't work for square objects. If you try to bunny hop, you'll find it increasingly difficult to climb that high, so the tip is to slam the rear wheel and bike frame into the corner of the obstacle and then lean forward. If you get this right and with enough speed, your momentum will get you up and onto the obstacle. As the obstacles get higher, you'll have to do more to get the extra height required. Prior to performing a bunny hop, lean forward. What you'll notice is that when you lean back, there is extra pressure loaded on the rear suspension. And as we've covered previously, this increases the height generated from the bunny hop. When you combine leaning forward before the bunny hop and slamming your rear wheel and bike frame into the obstacle, you'll be climbing things you never thought you could. For the maximum height on a jump, rather than just leaning forward, performing an endo before the jump will give you a huge boost. An endo is performed by leaning onto your front wheel and balancing before the bunny hop. When you lean back for the bunny hop, you'll get a boost from the additional pressure on the rear suspension. That's good to remember, as you'll use it a fair bit now that you know about it. As any good professor knows, a lesson is only as good as the grade your students get, so make me proud. And as always, if you're struggling, you can ask for help. But don't forget to go back and improve on the prior lessons as well.